I want to talk to you about having dreams and visions. And I want to encourage you not to fear these. Because what is happening right now is so much impending darkness is coming upon the world that the Lord is trying to reach his children and some of the only ways that he can do this is through dreams and visions. These are given as signs for the times that we're living in and the Holy Spirit will direct you in discernment of what this is, what they are. And it could be for different reasons. Usually it's to show you what it is you need to speak about, what it is or who it is you need to try to reach. And so the Lord uses dreams and visions to assist his kingdom and to further the kingdom of his coming. And so I want to encourage you when you sleep to pray for protection over your life and over the life of your loved ones. Pray for Israel. Pray for Jerusalem. Pray that many unbelievers can hear the truth. Their eyes and their ears can be opened and their bones can receive eternal living water. And so the heart can be renewed, changed, and begin to understand the truth of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because the Lord lives eternally. He was the same yesterday as he is today and as he is tomorrow. And we must praise his holy name and do as he tells us to do and hope and pray that people wake up in these last days but don't fear what you might dream and what you might see because it is a process to bring you closer to truth though you must discern especially if you are living with people that are unbelievers you might receive some kind of dream that something evil is trying to attack your loved one. Many of my dreams I have not shared and a few visions I have not shared also but these are completely normal and if you're not having dreams and visions then I would urge you to pray about that that maybe you can receive some dreams and visions and the information that comes from the kingdom of the Lord. Pray for protection over your life and pray for the unbelievers because time is definitely running out. May your prayers come to the Lord.